This lesson is on, very simply, how to illustrate the bonding between atoms drawing the orbitals. I call these orbital um, illustrations. And this is part of a homework assignment over some weekend. I guess it'll be this weekend. In any case, if I give you something like O2, I'd like you to draw the Lewis dot diagram. Uh, so quickly, this would look like oxygen. And you should be getting the hang of these pretty soon. And it looks like this. Okay, here's O2. Each oxygen has the octet. It's in the second row. Can't be expanded. What we have is oxygen bonding to another oxygen. And if I ask you to illustrate the bonding orbitals, okay, this is the Lewis dot diagram. Uh, either one of these is acceptable. But I want you to actually draw, okay, how this actually looks like. Why is this linear? Why is there just one plane or one region of electrons here? Well, the first thing is that I have two uh, orbitals or atoms that are at the end. These are terminal. So I don't need to draw any hybridization. Okay, some people say, well, you could. Yeah, you could. But we don't need to explain it, so I'm not. Remember, it's a theory hybridization to explain what we see. We know it's linear. Okay, so in any case, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw unhybridized orbitals. So I'm going to draw my P, one of my P's. Uh, that's my P, uh, let's say Y. This will be my P, okay, uh, X and the one coming at you, PZ, and back to the board. Okay, and of course I have an S in there, so um, remember this is unhybridized. I don't need to have hybridization to explain the bonding, so I'm not going to talk about hybridization. What about the valence electrons? Okay, so if these are all the electrons from this element, okay, I'm going to put them in there. There's an S, and then we have one here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, and then I'm going to draw another, okay, or a uh, bunch of orbitals for the other O, and here's an unhybridized P, okay, that's your P, uh, X, here's your P, let's say, Y, the first one's much better, but in any case, this is my P, Z, All right, let's put out the valence electrons for this guy. Well, there is, whoa, an electron there. Uh, and then I put, let's say, uh, electron here. And uh, what we're going to have is, oh, I forgot my S. So let's put my S in. There we go. Two electrons, oh, let's make them black. Color coordinate one, two, three, four, okay, five, and six. Notice something, party people. I have a filled orbital here. This orbital's filled, this orbital's filled. Notice this orbital's filled, and this orbital's filled. The only ones that are not filled are the unhybridized in the Z plane. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to connect them by that pi bond as one, oh, let's change the ink, by one in front and one behind. So these electrons, okay, are pi bonding in front and in back. And we call this a pi bond, and that represents the second bond. The first bond, okay, is um, that sigma bond, which is right here, that overlapping. And that's how you draw uh, an illustration. And again, you got to think three-dimensionally. Okay, now you said, Mr. Grotsky, why would you go front and back? I just chose to. I could have easily went top and bottom if I put the electrons appropriately. If you know, if you watched me carefully, for whatever reason, I put the top and bottom, the P, um, Z orbitals filled. And if you notice, I had one unfilled P, Z and another unfilled P, Z. And that's how I drew it. So this is a front and back pi bond, weaker bond. Okay, so again, uh, I, I gave an example of a simpler one, but that's what I'm looking to do for every one. Do your best. Remember, if something is hybridization, you're going to have to draw the hybridization. If it's sp hybridized, linear, then you draw two sp's for the central atom. But don't forget, 
there's two P's that didn't get hybridized, and you're going to have to draw them, okay, in their two different planes. And of course, you should understand that they're responsible for that pi bonding. So that's what I'm expecting from you, okay, on top of the Lewis dot diagram and determining what? Hybridization, bond angles, and pol molecular polarity and bond polarity in that ditto, okay? Good luck.